I did BSc in Microbiology uh, in 2021. Projects that I have added in my resume, it's not sufficient to get the job because. So, what was the 80th score of this resume, Akash? It was 85 percent. So, friends, welcome back to our channel, Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Akash Singh, who recently have cracked a job of MIS analyst, and most importantly, as a fresher after 12 months of consistent hard work. His journey is really motivating and I will talk about his entire journey starting from the learning period, the resources he used, the projects he did, the resume he created, the job strategies he implemented as well as the salary. So do watch this video completely till the end. And friends, do congratulate him in the comment box because he deserves the appreciation for the consistent hard work that he has shown. And please like this video as it really motivates me and do subscribe to the channel if you are new to it. And also you can follow me on Instagram, learn with gigs. Hello Akash, how are you? Hi sir, I'm good. How about you? I am also good. So thank you so much for taking out your time and uh, coming onto this channel. So I have already given a short introduction about you. So let's start with the first question and we'll start with your educational background first. So could you please throw some light on it? So first of all, sir, thank you very much for inviting me on your channel. So it's an honor for me to share my journey with your audience. So hey everyone, my name is Akash Singh and I'm from West Bengal, Durgapur. I did my schooling in uh, Durgapur itself and after that I did my graduation also from Durgapur. And and I did BSc in Microbiology uh, in 2021. After that, I went to Kolkata to pursue my master's in Microbiology and I finished it in 2023. So that's all about my education and background. Okay. And uh, so how did your journey started towards data analytics? Yes. Uh, basically, there is an interesting story behind this. So during my placement uh, time, I thought, okay, I should learn some extra things uh, to land uh, in a good job. So uh, I used to find jobs uh, in a, like in Nokri. So I used to get some jobs with a title called Research Analyst Clinical data analyst so when i explored the jds of those jobs i came to know okay advanced excel sql and power bi these kind of skills are needed for those jobs so at that time i didn't know anything about those things okay so after my thorough research i came to know about okay there is a field called data analytics so even if you are from a non-tech background you can enter into this field so after my research i decided okay let's get into this field completely and let's see what will happen so that's how my journey started towards this field so once you decided okay let's go for data analytics to me so uh what all resources you used to learn and how was the journey of your learning period yes basically at first i was learning from youtube only and i used to follow some channels to learn the skills so basically for power bi i used to follow your channel uh research mistress channels analytics with nark and how to power bi and for sql i used to follow ankit mansal's channels take tf2 challenge channel and after that uh, for excel i used to follow chandu's excel channel and at first i was not learning python so much but i used to follow uh, code with harry and apna college to learn python and also i was doing projects from youtube only but when i started job hunting i uh, realized okay the projects that i have added in my resume it's not sufficient to get the job because there is a lot of competition in the job market right now so at that time i thought okay let's uh, do some course after my research i came to know about code basics and as you have mentioned in your every video okay uh, code basics offers some affordable bootcamp so i thought okay let's give it a try previously my resume was not shortlisting anywhere and after i added code basics projects on my resume i started getting calls and now let's talk about your resume like how did you design your resume and what kind of projects you added which actually uh, created a good impact so can you please share your screen and show us the resume so this is my resume sir and at the top I have added my Gmail address and portfolio link, LinkedIn link. Okay. And uh, after that, I have added edu education. After that, I added skills and internship experience. So this is basically a virtual internship that is provided by the Code Basics Bootcamp. And in the project section, I have added uh, electric vehicle analysis. Uh, it's from Power BI. After that, I added consumer goods analytics. It's from SQL. After that, it's business 360 projects. So in this project, I have utilized all the three tools like Power BI, SQL and Excel. And okay. after that, I have added one project that is from the Excel. At the bottom, I have added certifications and awards. So overall, you have utilized uh, four Power BI projects, one SQL project and one Excel project, yes. right? And you have also provided a yes. video presentation. If you can scroll down, yes, I can yes. see you have presented your video presentation link also. So uh, it's important. For, for the people who will be watching this video that if you are attaching your projects it's good if you also attach a video presentation link which you might have posted on LinkedIn so I can see a lot of live dashboards of all the projects can you also present your portfolio once so that uh, audience can see how you have designed it so this is my portfolio sir and uh, here is an intro video so if anyone come into this portfolio he can uh, see an inter intro video uh, so you can see like four Pavia projects one SQL project and one Excel projects and this uh, LinkedIn link and my github link so this is 
about me section and these are the key skills that i have added and this is the projects that i have added okay yeah that's great uh, so anybody who is a fresher nowadays has to create a project portfolio the way akash has created it looks beautiful and the same way you also have to create some kind of portfolio for you so what was the ats score of this resume akash it was 85% and can you tell how you should uh, define or describe your projects so is there any specific way to write points under project section because i uh, like a lot of people reach out to me and ask how to describe their projects on resume yes basically i have uh, followed the star method like uh, a situation task action and result so that is how i have designed all the bullet point like uh, there is a situation after that what are the tasks i have followed to uh, like in this project okay after that the result uh, and the outcome okay akash so from which particular month you started hunting for jobs and what platforms you used uh, to research for all the kind of jobs yes i started job hunting from uh, june month and i basically utilized two platforms one is nokri and one is linkedin so to be very honest i get uh, i used to get two to three calls from nokri but for me linkedin is a game changer because i get three interview and that is uh, i like i got the opportunity due to my online presence on linkedin my personal connection actually i got a one referral uh, on linkedin as you said your online presence on linkedin helped you to get three interview calls so can you also tell what all things you did uh, to create your online presence on linkedin so this is my linkedin account sir and uh, at first i have added a professional uh, headshot photo and a banner after that a professional headline like uh, if i am searching for like a data analyst job so data analyst should be in the uh, heading okay after that a link to redirect uh, people to to your portfolio okay so that a uh, hiring manager can see your portfolio also this is my about section and here you can uh, like uh, write about you and about your skills so in the about section you see uh, you see how beautifully he have he has crafted his about section he has made use of emojis he have not written any kind of long paragraph so you don't write long paragraphs in your about section you have to be to the point precise and clear with what all things you have from the technical and functional point of view as your as your skills Set. so after that in feature section i have uh, added all my projects that is uh, also i have added in my portfolio also in the like uh, in the experience section i have added my virtual intensive experience so if anyone have done internship or anything so we can add okay because uh, experience is must in the project section i have added all the projects and also i have described all the projects in detail yeah that's a that's a very important point also to describe your projects whatever projects you have done so you have to describe that under project section and include all the important projects uh, now akash uh, tell me about how how did you post like how, what kind of post you used to do and so many freshers uh, like have their have this kind of question what to post how to post so can you tell something uh, some things about it which actually helped you so basically i used to post my learnings uh, in a pdf format okay so initially i was not getting enough engagement or enough Uh, reach okay but uh, i was like very consistent in posting my uh, planning journey and this kind of things later on i like used to get followers and used to get more engagements uh, in linkedin also i like i have connected to many recruiters also so they are also seeing my post okay like uh, this candidate is posting regularly and they can see my learning journey so how frequently you used to post you you were posting on a daily basis no i uh, used to post uh, alternate days so what exact process you followed to get the interview call from the current company in which you are working right now so So basically i used to connect to the hrs and hiring manager so in my current company i also connect to the hr after that i send a connection request and she accepted and after that i pitched her myself okay and i used to like uh, share my portfolio link and uh, like linkedin account uh, github and uh, resume also so after that uh, she watched my portfolio and she was impressed by my portfolio and my work after that she called me and uh, she scheduled an interview and that's how i got my job okay now let's talk about what all things like what kind of things were asked in your interview and how many rounds happened yes basically there was two rounds one was telephonic round and so hr first called me and asked about my location and about me after that she asked me like uh, some questions related to excel and some questions related to google sheet some basic questions like uh, we look up and this kind of things after that she scheduled an interview uh, with the manager and in the main interview the manager asked me mainly questions from excel so what is the main difference between x look up and uh, if look up and we look up okay and uh, what is the use cases of ifs function like some ifs this kind of things max ifs okay also he asked me like uh, did i use uh, the power query in excel okay and what are the functions that i used in power query this kind of things from the sql part he didn't ask me anything but he only asked me that i if i know it's sql or not 
so i said yes i know and in the case of power bi he only asked me like what are the things that i have did so far in the power bi so i uh, explained him one of my recent projects that i have done he asked me uh, some questions related to that project like what are the end to end process that i have followed to make that report uh, to uh, like made the report and project okay after that uh, he asked me some uh, basic dax like what are the dax functions that i have used in that project okay okay again a life proof if you are good with your projects if you have a strong project portfolio your interview can directly happen on their on your respective project itself the way it happened for akash so you can see the importance of your projects and project por- portfolio so akash as per your experience of giving interviews how much salary a fresher can expect from a data analyst or a mis analyst point of view in the current market situation yes sir a fresher can expect from uh, 3.5 to 4.5 lpa in the current market situation so akash what i understood it from your completion of your masters it took you around 1 year of time to finally get a job in the data analytics field right so that's a very good point to understand from the viewer point of view that if you are a fresher it takes time it takes time to create your presence on linkedin to create good portfolio to have hands on so do have patience as a fresher or a person with a career gap patience is very much required and if you are doing the things in the right manner with the right strategy you will definitely get the result the way akash uh, has got it so thank you so much akash for coming and sharing your journey definitely people will get a lot of insights from your journey and they it will definitely help them to uh, move ahead in their career thank you sir again for inviting me